If you look at kind of the general population, maybe like 1% of folks will have celiac. In type 1, that goes up to about 6 to 10%, depending on who you ask. So again, we're at higher risk of, of getting this with type 1 diabetes. And here, it's where um, the body has a specific reaction to gluten. Um, and it causes a kind of a pronounced inflammation in, in the gut. And this can be very severe, very damaging, and cause a lot of, a lot of ge- uh, gastrointestinal problems. Um, this is actually very different than people that have gluten sensitivity. I was thinking about this because, you know, you say, okay, gluten, gluten's in uh, wheat, it's in bread, these very kind of common things. Yeah. Why do humans have this? It seems like if we were allergic to gluten, like that should have kind of died out years ago. And I was reading about this, that apparently the, the, the kind of T cells, the, the, the a certain T cell receptor that's, that's associated with celiac and type one diabetes, um, presumably had some like protective effects in terms of helping people fight off viruses and bacteria. But then when we had the, uh, the, the, the kind of cultural revolution, we started farming more and people were exposed to, to gluten. That's when this like this uh, kind of appeared. But it's persisted because it had some advantages in terms of fighting off you know, viruses. So it's kind of an interesting, that, that is you interesting. Know, evolution of the human race, I suppose, as to why celiac disease kind of exists.